Hello YouTube, this is Detroit Borg and in this video we're going to do a quick unboxing of the Western Digital My Passport Essential SE Portable Hard Drive. This is the 750 gigabyte model, it's also available in one terabyte and it is compatible with USB 2.0 and USB 3.0. I purchased this from Costco for about $70, it normally retails for $79.99 and it does come with a pouch and a USB cable. Now, I purchased this largely as a secondary backup for my photos and music. As everybody here knows, I have a time capsule which is constantly backing up my iMac, but I want to make sure I have a secondary backup for my important files. Now, if we look at the back, we see some reference to some software you install on your computer to manage your files and automatic continuous backup. I'm not sure how that software works. I'm not going to use it. Um, I'm just going to drag and drop my files onto the hard drive and leave it at that. On the back you see a diagram of it. You can see it basically just says ultra portable design. It has a little indicator light. It also gives you an idea of what the capacity is, how many files of what type it can handle. And here's a preview of that visual backup software. And of course it does say it's compatible with Windows 7, Windows Vista, and Mac. So let's go ahead and crack this open. Okay, so I've extricated them from the blister packaging, and here we have the hard drive itself. So if you look around, you can see it's a shiny black plastic with some feet on the back. My Passport. It's uh, rounded at the edges with a black plastic around the side. You can see the USB port down here. Western Digital embossed on the front. You can also see the little indicator light right there. We'll see that later once we connect it. We also have a carrying pouch. Western Digital. Nice little, uh, looks like, breathable membrane on the side. We have some literature. We also have a USB cable, nice short USB cable with a micro USB connector. And that's all. There should be a little pocket here for the USB cable to sit in. And if you slide this in, slide in the cable, there you go. Okay, I've gone ahead and connected the USB cable to my MacBook Air. So let's go ahead and connect the hard drive itself. You see a little light illuminate. Actually, you can barely hear it. You do feel a little vibration from the spinning hard drive. And I can see it's already shown up on my desktop. So I can see I have two drives. I have the Western Digital Smartware, which is the software, and the My Passport hard drive itself. So if I go to open My Passport, so you see I have 749.36 gigabytes available. There is some software on here. So let's load the software. Let's click on that. It's booting the application. And now it's telling me that there is no writable Western Digital Smartware partition available on this Western Digital Drive. This can occur if you are attempting to write to a Western Digital Drive formatted for a different operating system or if the drive is locked. Now if we go to Drive Unlock, well, I actually see that this drive is not locked, so that's not the issue. The issue is the file system. So in order to make full use of the drive, I do need to format this in uh, HFS, and I'm going to do that by going up to Disk Utility. So all I'm going to do is type in Disk Utility under Spotlight, and I'm going to go ahead and select my disk, my passport, and from here I'm going to go to Erase, and you can see MS-DOS FAT, and we're going to go to Mac OS Extended Journaled. And we're going to go to Erase. Erase. So we can see it's formatting the drive right now. So there we go. We are now officially formatted in HFS. And if I load the software now, I'm up and running. So let's go to Setup Drive. Now what I can do here is basically set up software from Western Digital to back up my Mac to the hard drive. So let's go to Install. 
So if I go up here, I can see Western Digital has installed a piece of software running in the background. I can go to Open WD Smartware, and it's opening that software. Now taking a quick look at the software, you can see uh, on the left a visual representation of what's on my Mac. So you can see my um, system, other pictures, music, movies, mail, documents, that sort of thing. And you can see the same on the uh, passport. You can see I've already attempted a backup here and I'm going to go back to backup to resume it. So let's go back up here. And it's pretty simple. All you have to do is click run backup. And you visually see the progress of the backup of each file. In order to manage your backup you can go to retrieve. And here you have some other options. You can return all restored content to the original location on my computer. I can also retrieve the content folder and put all retrieved content into a single folder. And under settings I have other options to change the way the backup behaves so I can change how frequently the backup occurs, when it occurs, how many backup versions to maintain. So if I go to set up software, so I can enter the number of backup versions to keep for each file, the backup speed, so I can reduce the speed and I can change preferences. And here I can change whether the software boots when I connect the hard drive or automatically checks for updates. So there you have it guys, this is Detroit Board with a look at the Western Digital Passport Essential SE running on the Mac. Thanks for watching.